Okay, he's shutting the door. Oh, have you got a key? I do. Cool. He's locking the door. And we're driving to the pool. Sunny day, nice. I reckon it's about 18 or 19. Couple of beer hags stinking up my street. <clears throat> They're horrible people. It's despicable. That's why you're with me. I'm awesome. And everyone except me is a poop. I told you people I was introducing this new, more edgier comedy. <laughs> yeah, so now we're off to the pool. Oh, and yesterday at the pool, this whole, at the end of our, our swim, these women jumped into the lane and just said, get out, and threw me out of the lane. Now, I wouldn't have taken that, but Jason, he's a real wimpy little man, and a wink, a weed. He accepted it, but it's interesting, we got to the front door, and I said to the lady at the gate, I said to her, oh, is water aerobics starting and what time? Because I thought they're a water aerobics class maybe, because there was about eight chicks and they had water dumbbells and all that. And I was like, mate, you know, but what time does it start? You know, because if it's not on for another 10 minutes, who are they, are they to kick us out of the lane that way, you know? But the lady turned around, she goes, they're not the water aerobics class. She goes, well, they are, but it's not water aerobics day. They meet themselves a small group of the girls from the class to have a practice on the days in between she goes they should not be kicking you out of a lane and she goes i'm going to go over there and kick them out of the pool if you want me to right now and i felt well that's pretty amazing like <coughs> but she was going to uh, <coughs> defend me like that because what happens in this world is people can bully you because I'm not the person with any authority at the pool. So somebody can come to me and say, give me the lane or else. Now in the old days, you say, I'll take the or else and then you hold them under the water and drown them a bit. But the police won't accept people doing violence anymore. Zero tolerance to that now. So you got, you're supposed to go to the teacher, the police, the, the, the um, librarian, the pool attendant, whatever when someone comes and jumps on you or threatens you for a lane or whatever, right? But normally they don't do anything. But I, I didn't even say really, well, I said to this lady that, that's the lifeguard, uh, I said to her, you know, is this water aerobics class? What time do they start? She said, they're not the water aerobics class. I said, oh, because they came and just told me I have to get out and just chase me from the lane. And she goes, they're not allowed to do that. And I'll go and correct that for you. I'll kick them from the pool right now. Do you want me to do that? And I said, oh, look, we've already showered up and left now, but if, if I'd thought to come and speak to you straight away when I first got kicked from the lane, because we cut our workout 10 minutes short, Sam, we cut it 10 minutes short because of it. And I don't want to cut my workout, I want to do a full hour. So this lady, if I, you know, if anyone does it again, I'll go to her. So she's willing to actually do her job properly with regards to not letting other people bully you for lanes and all this. And if everybody had been like her, uh, my entire life, I never would have got overweight or anything, you know, because I always went to pools and that. But what, what would happen if, I don't know, I'd, I'd either eventually get despondent and not want to come anymore because like, people are just kicking me out of lanes every day and all this, or I would have drowned somebody and then got banned from the pool for violence and got arrested as well. So, I don't know, she's a kind of cool chick and it's so unusual and it's creeping me out because... I want to get to the bottom of... Because she comes and fiercely defends me all the time. It's not the first time. You know, like, um, she defended me against the other staff as well. So this chick's a real men's rights warrior. And that's really unusual. So um, I'm going to talk to her today and sort of learn a bit more. Because, yeah. All right, here I are at the pool. Uh, over and out for you.